Next up, we have Bank Panic by Sega. Originally developed by Sanritsu and published in the US by Bali Midway. The game was released to arcades in 1984. Your role is to assume the role of the hero, which I can only assume is the town sheriff. What makes this game unique is the bank layout, which appears to be circular. There are 12 doors, and the object of the game is to get at least one deposit per door. But of course, you have to look out for robbers who will shoot at the first chance they get. As the levels go on, these bandits get a bit more brazen and begin to take hostages, use customers as cover, and evade, and even sometimes deflect your shots. There's a child that sometimes appears wearing several hats that you attempt to shoot off his head, and you may get a bank bag from him or an extra bonus. There are also bombs that sometimes get planted on one of the doors, and you have to get to it before time runs out. What makes this game so functional is the display over the bank doors. There is a box above every number that will let you know if that door has received a deposit or not. This is indicated when there is a dollar sign in the box. Now right above the box we have something that looks akin to a graphic equalizer. In reality, what these are, are lines that indicate how close someone is to reaching one of the doors. A red line begins at the top and eventually makes its way to the bottom. When that reaches the bottom line, it indicates that someone is behind that door. Sometimes, when you rescue someone that has been taken hostage, they peek their head out the door and give you a few more bonus points. Bank Panic is a super fun game. It's one of those games that once you figure out how all the mechanics work, you can't put it down. It seems deceptively simple, but grows in challenge rapidly. There were ports of this game on various systems, with the most popular one being on the Sega Master System. It was also ported to the SG-1000, MSX, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, and ZX Spectrum. <laughs> 